Hey everyone, it's Cal Ewing here and I wanted to talk a little bit about buying properties at auction sight unseen. So this is pretty common when you're buying tax foreclosure properties um, or anything really, any kind of foreclosure property. What they'll typically do in most jurisdictions is they'll have an auction. Um, they may have a photo of the property posted online somewhere and you'll be able to drive by and have a look at the outside but they rarely let people have a look at what the inside looks like okay especially the tax foreclosures um, they won't post any photos of the inside of the home okay so as you can imagine this can be very risky when you're trying to figure out what your bid range is going to be or your maximum bid on a property and you haven't even seen the inside Right, so I know people that have gotten themselves into trouble because they uh, overbid on something that just required uh, too much in repairs. And I actually wanted to share with you a perfect example of this. This is uh, one of the, the horror stories that I love to tell and I wanted to share it with you today. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of background first before I share uh, this video and walk you through this house. Um, this was a few years back and some friends of mine and I, we were all investors and um, we had heard that the Topeka, Kansas tax foreclosure sale, which only happened one time a year, um, had some pretty lucrative deals. And we actually printed out the uh, last year's results and saw what some of these properties were going for at the auction. And it was like, ridiculous, like 50, 60, 70% of value, um, maybe even lower. And um, so we were thinking, well, you know, this is a small city. This might be a good time to go and, and bid. So we got our, our funds together. We had a group of four of us and we flew down to Topeka, Kansas. Never been there before, so it was an adventure all around. And um, I'm gonna share a video of one of the homes that we were looking at right now. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning here. Okay, here it is. So I'm just gonna pause you here. So um, unlike where I normally invest, which is Houston, where it's very humid, um, much drier in Topeka, Kansas, right? So as you can tell, like this home is in pretty good shape on the outside, right? And um, what I heard from the neighbors is this uh, property had been sitting vacant for I think around a decade. And I mean, the roof looks really good. There's no rot or anything on the uh, soffit and fascia boards. The windows look decent. The siding looks good, right? So when I saw this house, I'll push play here. I saw this house from the outside and I was like, okay, this is definitely a home that I want to bid on at this auction. Like, you know, based on the outside, how bad could the inside possibly be, right? Well, I was wrong. So that's, that's a view of the outside. And um, so I got there, I shot that video the day before the rest of my friends got there. Um, so the next day I took them to this property again and my uh, partner, Chris, was like, yeah, but we got to see, we got to look inside and just see what we can see because there's no way we should bid without at least being able to see through the windows. And which I agreed. It's, you know, you need to at least look through a window. Um, if not, knock on the door if someone's home and lives there just to get a glimpse, you know, and try and see what the condition of the property is behind them. And the, the rule I always use is that if one room is well kept so that you can see chances are the rest of the house is in good shape. Whereas if one room is in awful condition, probably the rest of the house is in awful condition, right? So that's kind of the rule that we go on. All right, so I'm gonna share with you a different video now. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you now a video of the inside and before I press play, uh, what we ended up doing is we saw that there was an attic hatch at the top of the home like mainly like a vent, right? An attic vent. And so we hoisted up, uh, my partner, Chris, we hoisted him up, pushed him up, and he actually crawled through the broken attic hatch and got in and lowered the stairs, the attic stairs. It was one of those uh, automatic lowering attic stairs systems. And I want to stop and say that I don't recommend that you break into homes when you're considering buying them. Obviously that is trespassing. But I do want to say that you need to get some kind of idea, and I want to reinforce this, some kind of idea what the inside looks like. And if the home is vacant, um, sometimes you got to take the risk because you're risking a ton of money when you're buying these homes, right? You're having to pay cash for these auction properties, um, either your own or someone else's. And if you get it wrong, there's a lot at stake. 
Okay, so I, I actually talked to a police officer about this and I told him, you know, we buy at the auction and if you were to see this, what, what would happen? Like, would we get arrested? And, and they basically said, like, unless someone complains, um, you're probably good. <laughs> so I know this is a gray area and I don't want to condone what we did, but it shows a good point and a lesson that can be learned about buying sight unseen. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that. But here's the home. So um, the kitchen is okay, but look at the rest of this house. So there must have been a pipe that burst in this home at some point, and water must have leaked all over the place and rotted out the floors because there was a, it literally looked like there was some kind of black hole or something that opened up in the middle of this home that led to like some other dimension or some crazy thing. It was insane what was inside. So you can see the floor, like the dirt underneath the home. And it caved in from the weight of the uh, fridge and the um, couch. Completely collapsed the flooring. <laughs> so we are having to like inch along the walls so we didn't fall in ourselves. And look at all the mold in the ceiling. So that's the other risk if you go in. I mean, this is incredibly dangerous. And I'm not as brave as Chris was who filmed this. He walked through along here. Um, but you can just see this house inside is a disaster and I don't even know what it would cost to get it back to back to good There's a bathroom. It was okay But we were originally thinking you know maybe 20,000 might take to get this house into top of market condition based on the outside But look at the I mean, it's just horrendous. There's the attic stairs. We came in on So you can see she's walking along the side and there's the window we got in on in through here's a uh, more mold the bedrooms are okay he said there was some subfloor but it's not sturdy and look at this sad looking ceiling fan this poor house has been through a lot <laughs> so sad looking more mold so you can see that um obviously we didn't bid on this home or, or we lowered our bid to, I don't know, I think our maximum bid on it was like $5,000 for this home. Um, and the sad part is, is when we went to the auction, I'm gonna stop sharing so I can uh, talk to you guys. So the sad part is when we went to the, the tax foreclosure auction a few days later, uh, we were sitting there, we had our list of properties we were bidding on and we were keeping track of that one just to see what it would go for. And uh, a woman did end up buying it, uh, an elder, like not elderly, but you know, up in years, 60s, um, this lady ended up buying it and she probably bid more than we were even originally going to bid when we first saw the house. So I have no idea how that went for her, but boy, was she in for a shock. I'm sure I can't imagine what her, she must have felt when she opened the door after buying that house at the tax sale and seeing what was inside. Right. So I just wanted to share that. Um, it's a horror story and it's something to be aware of. You can definitely find some amazing deals at the um, foreclosure sales and the, and the auctions, but just make sure that you have some way of knowing what you're getting into. At least look through the windows or something, right? So yeah, there, I don't think I need to say more. <laughs> just be careful out there. I'm Cal Ewing. See you on the next video.